In this video, we'll discuss charges, potential and potential difference. The source of all electricity is electric charge. It is defined as the fundamental property of matter that causes it to experience a force of attraction or repulsion in the presence of other matter. The SI unit of charge is Coulomb and is denoted by C. There are two types of charges, positive and negative. The properties of electric charges are 1. Light charges repel each other, while unlike charges attract, which means that two positive or two negative charges will repel each other, while a positive charge and a negative charge will attract each other. 2. Electric charge is conserved. It can neither be created nor destroyed. The net charge, that is the algebraic sum of positive and negative charges in an isolated system is constant. 3. Total charge on any body is an integral multiple of the charge on an electron or a proton, that is plus or minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. In other words, electric charge is quantized. Note that the charge on an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the charge on a proton is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. The magnitude of the electronic charge is denoted by E. So E equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Another point to note is that elementary particles called quarks are exception to this property. They carry charges that are integral multiples of one-third the charge on an electron or a proton. We will not discuss quarks here because it is beyond the scope of this lecture. Let us solve a simple question before moving ahead. Example 1. Calculate the number of electrons constituting one coulomb of charge. We know that the charge on one electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. In other words, number of electrons constituting a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb is equal to 1. Therefore, by unitary method, number of electrons constituting a charge of 1 coulomb equal to 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 equal to 10 to the power 19 divided by 1.6 equal to 6.25 into 10 to the power 18. Let us now discuss what electric potential means. Consider a situation in which there is a group of stationary charges, both positive and negative. When a charge Q is placed at some point 2, the group of stationary charges will exert a force on it. For example, if Q is positive, the stationary charges which are positive will repel it, while the stationary charges which are negative will attract it. Therefore, work needs to be done if this charge Q has to be moved from point 2 to point 1. If point 2 is at infinity and Q is a unit positive charge, then the work done in moving the charge from point 2 to point 1 is the electric potential at point 1. Electric potential at a point is thus defined as the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Infinity is the reference point here, just like we have the origin as the reference point in coordinate geometry. The potential at infinity is assumed to be zero, and the potentials at all other points are calculated with respect to it. For all practical purposes, however, potential difference between two points is more commonly used than potential at a point. Potential difference between two points 1 and 2 is the work done in moving a unit positive charge from point 2 to point 1. If W be the work done in moving charge Q from point 2 to point 1, the potential difference V between points 1 and 2 will be given by V1 minus V2 equal to V equal to W divided by Q, where V1 and V2 are the potentials at points 1 and 2 respectively. This term W by Q is the work done per unit charge. Note that when point 2 is at infinity, V2 equal to 0. Therefore, V1 minus V2 equal to V1 equal to W by Q from equation 1. As you can see, this is consistent with our definition of potential at a point. The SI unit of potential and potential difference is volt. 
and is denoted by the symbol V. From equation 1, 1 volt equal to 1 joule divided by 1 coulomb or 1 volt equal to 1 joule per coulomb. Thus, the potential difference between two points is 1 volt if 1 joule of work is done in moving 1 coulomb of charge from one point to the other. The potential difference is measured by an instrument called voltmeter. It is always connected in parallel to the electric element or the two points across which potential difference is to be measured. We will discuss voltmeters in a later video of this chapter. Potential difference or voltage as it is sometimes called is important in the field of electricity because it causes the flow of charges. Let us solve some questions now. Question 1. How much is the work done in moving a charge of 4 coulomb across two points having a potential difference of 24 volts. We know that potential difference V equal to V1 minus V2 equal to W by Q or W equal to Q into V. Here potential difference V equal to 24 volts, charge moved Q equal to 4 coulomb. We have to calculate the work done W. From the formula required work done W equal to Q into V equal to 4 coulomb into 24 volts equal to 96 joules. Question 2. What is the work done in moving a charge of 2 coulomb from a point at 220 volts to a point at 120 volts? We know that potential difference V equal to V1 minus V2 equal to W by Q or W equal to Q into V. Here Q equal to 2 coulomb Assuming V1 equal to 220 volts and V2 equal to 120 volts, we have potential difference V equal to V1 minus V2 equal to 220 volts minus 120 volts equal to 100 volts. Now we have to calculate the work done W. From the formula, the required work done W equal to Q into V equal to 2 coulomb into 100 volts equal to 200 joules. Question 3. How much energy is given to each coulomb of charge passing through a 6 volt battery? We know that potential difference V equal to W by Q or W equal to Q into V. Here Q equal to 1 coulomb and V equal to 6 volts. Since the charge is passed through the battery having potential difference across its terminals equal to 6 volts. Now the work done in moving this charge through the battery W equal to Q into V or W equal to 1 coulomb into 6 volts equal to 6 joules. This work done in moving the charge to the battery is the amount of energy transferred to the charge. Therefore, the amount of energy given to the charge equal to 6 joules. Question 4. 500 joules of work is done in transferring 40 coulombs of charge from one terminal of a battery to the other. What is the battery voltage? Battery voltage is another term used for the potential difference across the terminals of a battery. Now battery voltage equal to potential difference V equal to W divided by Q. Given W equal to 500 joules and Q equal to 40 coulombs. Therefore required battery voltage V equal to 500 joules divided by 40 coulombs equal to 12.5 volts. In the next video we'll talk about flow of charges and a little more about potential difference. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This is Abhishek Chandra signing off. Take care.